How you doing? So how have you been getting on with the days of inspiration? Good, I hope. So what I wanted to talk about today was that we make it all up. So I've been studying a new, or new to me, called the Three Principles. And they talk about living from the inside out. Most of us live this out there, made me feel from the outside in. And if we want money, we think we've got to go and earn money, do something about anxiety out there, find a doctor, find the right thing. And now over the past, it's been over a year now, but in the last month, for in the last three months probably, since lockdown, I've really, really had the time to become really quiet and actually go in and listen to my thinking. And what I realised is, this, this is what I want to teach you today, is that I can hear the information, I know the information, and I go, yeah, 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 no, I know that, I know that, I know that. But it's actually living it, learning to live in a new way. That your life plays out in your thinking. And like I've said before, most of it is from a tape recorder. You play the same thoughts over and over and over again in your head until they become like a solid structure. I am fat. I am Jenny. And we make, and all of this, we've done it for so long that we really believe that it's the truth. And right now your intelligence, your thinking is going to be going, no, it, she's wrong. I am fat. I do have anxiety. I do have fears. But it's all thinking. And then because of my NLP background, I went about setting about my mind. Well, if I do this and push this one away and do that thought, until what I learned is just quiet. And it's not even that there's not thoughts going on, it's being learning to live before the thinking, behind the thinking. So it's like I am the sky, you are the sky, and the clouds go by, and sometimes they rain, and sometimes there's thunder. You don't try to stop it, you know that it will clear. The new clouds, new weather is coming. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. And it's the same in our thinking. So just close your eyes and bring your awareness into your internal world. And just think about whatever the subject is, the theme, whether it's relationship, health, diet, money, feelings of boredom, frustration, and just be with. Just imagine it all just floating by. But you bring your awareness, imagine the sun shining in the sky. And just bring your awareness to your breath. Open up the crown of your head. And imagine those structures that have become like ice, solid, real. You're thinking, just beginning to melt. And everything comes from nothing. You think that you need to look outside, whether it's money, whether it's a new relationship, but everything comes from nothing. And that space of nothing is within you, within your heart, your spiritual heart. So just be quiet and just feel right there in your heart. And imagine just a space of quiet opening up. And just allow some new thinking. You don't know when. It could be now, it could be tonight, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week. The sun you go, oh yeah. But just be quiet. And feel how you're being breathed. A noise can go on. But just let it flow by. Because life happens. There's traffic, there's rain. Next door neighbours are noisy. But just let it float by. And it feels very paradoxical to what you've been taught. At school you got taught to continuously solve, to learn, to do, to work it out. 
as you sit in this quiet in your presence the presence of your energy your spirit your soul which is love which is peace that is joy just like if you get a paper cut on your finger it already heals your mind can heal you know, in our thinking mind it can be scary to let go to let go of the structures So imagine now just feeling your breath and noticing that your breath comes from that space. It comes from nothing as an impulse to breathe. Your temperature is being regulated. Your heart is being beat. The earth is being spun. And you are part of that stream. So rather than trying to focus on what it is that you need to do to solve, just quieten. And just ask in your mind, ask mind, your higher self, your spirit, your soul, to let you see it in a new way. And then just be sitting quiet and wait and listen and feel. It's like you believe that you need to move the clouds, stop the rain, create the sunshine. It's impossible. As the sky, you allow the clouds, the rain, the weather to flow by. So as your spirit, your soul, you're just hearing the thinking, letting it flow by. Feel your feelings, let them flow by. There's no solution to a feeling. We spend a lot of time trying to run away from our bad feelings, preferencing to have only good feelings. And imagine that you don't get caught up in your emotions. You're before your emotions. You're behind your thinking and your feelings. And you are the sky that is always at peace, that is always quiet, that is just watching life unfold through the eyes of love and peace and joy. So now just rest and breathe and allow the noises to flow by. And more and more as you practice this, not even practice because it's your innate, it's your innate state to live in love and peace and joy. But as you learn to, throughout the day, keep dropping in, whether you're at traffic lights, stood in a Tesco's queue, just keep becoming quiet and more and more you live in this space where the solutions to your problems show up, where the right people at the right time and you'll be inspired to eat the right thing, to drink the right thing. You'll have insights into good ideas. So just settle and be bathed, open up the crown of your head, be bathed in the sunshine, in the peace and there's still noises but you're just letting them float by, you're not attached and let your spirit, your soul, your love, your peace, your joy flow through you, out through your heart, out through your throat and out through the eyes. And that life is a mirror that will reflect it back. And I invite you today to notice whether you blame someone, moan about a system or a cue, that you're making it all up. You're insisting on a world, the world, being a certain way and other people being in certain ways where you think you're right and they're wrong. And that's a very lonely a stressful place to be. So know that you can sit in your peace and in your joy no matter what anybody else is doing. Nobody else can create your feelings. Nobody can control you. So as you go through today, I invite you to notice that when you have either stress or anxiety or fear or worry, it is your thinking 
that you made up. And together in the world, we, may, we all made it up. We're in it together. As we learn to become quiet, we learn to come from our heart, our spirit, our soul. And the world will then become a more peaceful way. You can't protest in here, have fear and anger against someone else and expect to feel peace in here. It doesn't happen. If you want to feel peace, you've got to go first. If you want to feel love, you've got to go inside. So just bathe. And either you can just stay there and just bathe in that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.